What does he think he's doing here in this neighborhood? Hey, what do you think you're doing? What are you doing in this neighborhood? I live here. Yeah, nice try. Let me see some identification. I don't have an ID. I'm just a kid. I see a thief that just stole somebody's package out of their mailbox. What? I didn't steal anything. This package is for my dad. All right, that's it. Turn around. Wait, what are you doing? Help! Feed it. Punk. <laughs> What does he think he's doing here in this neighborhood? Yeah, that's right, punk. You better keep it moving. My eye on you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Excuse me? Do you always answer questions with another question? Let's try this again. What are you doing in this neighborhood? I live here. Where? Here. This is my house. You live in this house? Yeah, nice try. Let me see some identification. I don't have an ID. I'm just a kid. Yeah, just a kid. You know what I see? Mm, no. I see a thief that just stole somebody's package out of their mailbox. What? I didn't steal anything. This package is for my dad. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I've been patrolling this neighborhood for a week and I haven't seen you once. But you know what has happened? Packages have been stolen every day. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, I, I'm sorry, officer, but this is my house. I happen to know for a fact everybody that lives on this block is white. So I'm going to give you one more chance to tell me the truth. I've been telling the truth. All right, that's it. Turn around. Wait, what are you doing? Help! Oh. Let's go. Somebody help! Help! Sit down and shut up. Feed in. Punk. <laughs> Dispatch, come back. It's Officer Dickens. I have the suspect in custody. 10-4, officer. Go ahead. The package bandit that's been terrorizing the community? I caught him red-handed, apprehended, and in my back seat. Good work, officer. Bring him in. Copy that. I'm bringing him downtown now. Over and out. Nobody escapes justice on my watch. I'm bringing this punk down. I hope you're comfortable back there. I, I'm not a thief. Please, somebody help. Somebody That's help. enough. Be quiet now. <laughs> Officer Dickens here, requesting backup immediately. Please send a secondary unit to 1255 Maple Drive. The suspect is out of control. <laughs> Yes, please hurry. Officer Dickens, officer, please come back. All right, kid, you want to get loud? We can get loud. What's going on up there? What the heck is going on out here?
Wait, who's that guy? That's my dad. For the last time, shut your mouth. What is going on out here? I mean, I was wondering the same thing. What's going on in the house? What are you doing in there? Well, I was reading a book until I heard all this commotion going on out here. So that's how it works now? You rob the place and then what, hang on their couch? Excuse me, but I live here. Okay, I'm gonna need to see some identification. Sure, I'll show you the identification, but first tell me why you have all this commotion going on in my driveway. I apprehended a suspect that's in stealing packages from all your neighbor's mailboxes. Is that right? Yeah. That's the culprit right there. That's the guy in your back seat? Yeah. Little punk was a very tough customer. But I got it under control now. Backup's on the way. That's not a culprit. That's my son. That's your son? Yeah, that is my son. I I'm going to need to see some identification. <laughs> what does the address say? Maple. Maple Drive. I have something else I want to show you. What does that say? That says Captain. Captain James Porter of the Mango Park Police Department. You must be new. Affirmative, sir. Eric Dickens, first week on the job. First week, well, this could very well be your last. I, it's just a misunderstanding. It's not about anybody. A misunderstanding? Let me tell you. First, I want you to get my son out of this car. Absolutely, we can do that. What's going on, buddy? It wasn't so bad back there, right? That's fun. Come here, turn around, son. You okay? Yeah, Dad. He looks like you had a good time back there. Listen to me, son. I want you to go have a seat in the front of the car, okay? Go. Okay. My, Thanks, I Dad. Need to, I need to talk to him. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Do you know how much fear you instilled in that young man? I mean, again, it was, it's just a simple mistake. You know, he seems like he understands. Hmm. Have you ever been in handcuffs and then placed into the back of a police car? No, of course not. It's no. By a police officer. Of course not. Turn around. For what? Turn around. Okay. What are you doing? Are you like, arresting me for this? <sighs> now you get to see what it feels like. <sighs> get in. I, I can't even fit back there. Get in! All right, we'll make it work. Uh, just, uh, just give me a second. Uh, hey. <sighs> Where are we going? Well, we're going on a trip, son. You ready to roll? Yeah. Can I turn on the siren? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, son. Yes! I hope you get comfortable back there because this is going to be a long trip. You know, with traffic and all. We're going to the police station? Yeah, son. We're taking him to the police station. I think he needs to reflect on his behavior today. 